This video ended up being a lot longer than I imagined, but if you, you're only interested in seeing the tattoo, I'm gonna leave a time right here that you can jump to, but please watch this. This is basically me talking about how I came up with this tattoo idea and my process with um, reacting to Katy Perry and everything that affected me in the way. So yeah, it's a nice little talk. So if you can, please watch this video in its entirety. Bye guys, I love you. So here's what's happening in today's video. I got my Katy Perry tattoo as promised in my reactions to her music. So right now I'm gonna be making some tea because it's 7 a.m. and that's just what I do every single day. And then I'm gonna be talking about my relationship with Katie's music so far, with these reactions, and why I chose this specific line for my tattoo. Okay, so now that's one spoiler you get from this. I went with one of her lyrics. I mean, it's only just fair considering I fell in love with Katie's ability of writing. I just learned to admire her for it so much. So. Yeah, so here we go, my two favorite brands of tea, you actually flavor. I love Earl Grey and also some vanilla tea. And then I always mix the two of them with just a little bit of milk. Oh my God, that's probably a terrible angle right now, but hi. So one thing I realized when I started reacting to Katie is that she has a special way with certain specific kind of songs and those types are songs about falling in love, songs about falling out of love, party songs and motivational songs. We got a water ready, boiling beautifully. The way I make tea, I know perhaps British people, I don't know, will find me like an aberration because of this, but this is how I like my tea. I always, let me make this a little bit more comfortable, come on. One second. Katy Perry really shines when she does that, when she writes those kind of melodies, those kinds of stories, and I just can't avoid I cannot avoid just falling in love immediately with them. But especially, I'm a complete sucker for her motivational songs. Firework, fingerprints, smile, just give me those kind of themes and I'll be so happy with that. So one thing I knew when I was decided upon my tattoo was that I wanted it to be motivational because basically that's what I do whenever I get a tattoo. My tattoos are mostly related to fandoms. The only exceptions to that are two ballet tattoos I got back when I was dancing. But other than that, all my tattoos are Harry Potter related, Lord of the Rings related, Doctor Who related, and I always find, I always manage to find a way to get something out of those stories and out of those fandoms that I love. Be it a line or a symbol, a character, doesn't matter. I just make sure to pick something that speaks to me on a personal level, so it couldn't be any differently with Katie. Oh, look now, guys, just a little bit of tea. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. Yes, just to give it a little bit something. And this is it. This is how I start my every morning. So ever since I reacted to Witness, I was just revisiting her songs and trying to come up with something. And these are some of the lyrics that I considered, like seriously considered. Most of them are out of smile because that's just my favorite album. Exactly because of that, it's an inspirational album. It just makes me want to smile, which is just fit in. So the first line I really, really thought about was just keep on dancing with those teary eyes. Like I told you guys in my Smile album reaction, that song has a really personal, um, intimate meaning to me because I was deep down in depression when I started dancing back in 2017, I guess. Just allowed me to free myself of negative thoughts during the time that I was dancing, that I was focusing all my energy in my body. The reason why I didn't go for this line is because I thought it was too long. Keep on dancing with those teary 
eyes that's like seven words that's a lot it would be expensive i wouldn't have really the space for that in my body and i wanted to make this tattoo on a place that would be visible that would always be easy for me to look at and be inspired so that wouldn't really be manageable and possible it's so hot in here the only reason why i'm wearing long sleeves right now is because i don't want to show you my tattoo yet but i i'm sweating so yeah the second line that really stuck with me also out of smile was from daisies but again same issue as teary eyes the lyrics that i love the most out of this song is on verse two and it says when did we all stop believing in magic so that's eight words um just wouldn't be doable anyway this is also such a personal and nostalgic um line for me because it makes me remember of my childhood how i grew up believing Living, like literally believing in magic. I was fascinated with fantasy fiction. I was obsessed with Harry Potter, with Lord of the Rings, with Narnia. And all of those stories, all of those universes just always encouraged me to have a positive view about life and about the future and i might be a little bit hopeful still that one day gandalf is gonna show up on my door and just take me on an adventure that would be like my dream but yeah at some point i think all of us just stop looking at the world with different eyes and that's called maturing it's okay but i feel like i became too much of a pessimistic person with adulthood and i miss being my young self i miss being that kid that just didn't have many worries and, and just loved everyone and loved everything and believed that the world would become a better place someday for all of us. Still too long of a line, so I then considered the third song out of Smile, Resilient. And I have to admit that it would be just perfect to just have Resilient, like the title of the track, as my tattoo, but I guess I didn't want it to be so general as well, so broad. I wanted this tattoo to be really specific and to remind you immediately of Katie, if you know Katie. And I just feel like everyone gets a Resilience or Resilient tattoo these days so maybe i didn't want to go too much cliche over it even though i'm the most cliche person out there so no specific reason why i didn't choose that uh yeah i i just i knew it would be a good tattoo but i wanted like an excellent an extraordinary tattoo which brings us to witness out of witness we oh we got so many good lyrics with the album but out of witness there is one specific line that really stuck with me for days on end after i i first listened to the album and that line is in the song into me you see and it's the part where katie just keeps repeating to herself stay open just stay open just stay open and yeah i just think that's such a powerful message that's so i don't even have the words to describe that moves me on a deep level so yeah it was a huge contestant i was so excited to go for that because it's just a beautiful song and I connected to it. But I regret to tell you that that wasn't my choice, not this time. Again, not a particular reason why it wasn't. It's just I found a better line, I guess. Then I went all the way back to her first steps, to her original first album. Actually, not first album because you guys have told me over and over again that she got that she released like a religious album before that so i i haven't reacted to that i might do that soon i will do that soon but yeah i went to one of the boys and i scanned all of the songs again and there is one song that you guys already know if you've seen my reactions because i mentioned that all the time there is one song that is so precious to me and that's fingerprints and with fingerprints i had two ideas first one was break the mold because that's one of my favorite lines from the song and that's basically my purpose in life i just don't want to like fit myself into a box that people already determined that i should fit into and i want to discover my mission and my passions um by myself 
forgive me for the dogs they're not mine actually they're my neighbors but yeah they just be like this the entire day also break the mode really reminded me of Daenerys Targaryen which is my favorite character out of Game of, Game of Thrones by the way we all know that the show flopped after it ended, right? That's the power of making a bad ending for your story. You lose a fandom that was the most dedicated fandom. Not the main topic here though. So we got Break the Mold and I also had this line in my mind all the time, which is actually the main line in the song. It's in the chorus and it's just leaving my fingerprints. I just think that's the one line that never left me ever since I reacted to that album. But again, I didn't go for any of those two. You see, I had a lot of good options, like many great options. It was so hard to choose. I spent week after week thinking about this and looking at the lyrics again and again and again. It was songs out of Prism, out of Teenage Dream as well that impacted me a lot. But in the end, in the end, there is one line, there is one lyric that basically describes even more than fingerprints um, ever could. Exactly what it is that I feel is the meaning of my life and yeah, my purpose being here. Now, if you already know me and if you already follow my videos, which if you don't, you should, by the way, go back and watch all my reactions to Katie and then subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications bell because there are lots of more reactions to come. By the way, the next reaction is to her documentary part of me, so you, you don't want to lose that. But yeah, if you know me already, you know that I made a cover for this song that I chose. It's the only cover for Katy Perry that I made on the channel so far, so do you remember what song I'm talking about? My favorite, my definite number one favorite out of Smile, which is my favorite album. I, I can't deny it. Only Love. That's the song that I chose to have marked on my body for the rest of my life. The importance of that song for me is so huge because every single time I listen to it, I'm just reminded of the utmost valuable things in my life. Or better saying, people, my family, my friends, Every time I listen to that song, I just pick up the phone and I talk to my dad or I send a message to my mother and I just let them know that I love them. And every single time that changes my life because we never know, we never know what's gonna happen a second from now. Every single moment we get to be alive, every single breath we, we take in is borrowed. I truly believe with all my heart that the one thing that matters, the one thing that we're gonna take from this world is our relationships, is the love we gave other people and also the love we received back. So yeah, that's the meaning of that song for me. It just makes me wanna reach out to the people I love and remind them that I love them. And if Katie manages to do that to one person, and I mean, I was not even one of her fans, so I imagine what you guys take from these songs, what you guys, the lessons you guys apply in your daily lives because of these songs. That's her transforming the world somehow, and I value that, I respect that, I admire that with all my heart. So I picked a line from that song that is just my favorite line out of Smile and probably out of Katie's entire discography because of the mini. And all of that said, it's time! I'm just gonna drink my tea and then I'm gonna show you guys the final result, what I went for with my tattoo. So are you guys ready? I'm gonna just change my clothes first because otherwise I would have to get naked to show you. Not that it is in any improper locations though, it's very easy to see. Oh, here she comes, the queen herself, my little baby, which is located right here under this beautiful shirt. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Okay, so then here you have it. Look at her, so beautifully standing in my arm for plain eyes to see. I'm so happy about this. I, uh... It's still like a little bit red, a little bit swollen. It looks like hooked when I move my arm, but it's actually really straight. And it's, uh, 
It's so beautiful. So that's what I got engraved in my skin for the rest of our days. Let me live this world with the hate behind me and take the love instead, just give me. She cute, she powerful, she forever. What do you guys think about this? Do you like my tattoo? I'm completely in love with that. I'm so happy that I got to know Katie and got to connect with you guys and to engage with you guys. You really actually make friends with some of you guys. So that's insane. That's completely crazy. Also, my hair is drying right now and I'm feeling fabulous. So it's a good day to be alive. I got my tattoos ready. I got my motivation ready. I got my purpose set. I'm still like, a depressive imitation of a human being that doesn't know how to navigate life but that we don't talk about so i guess that's my final message for you guys today just leave this world with all the hate behind you and take the love instead just love people around you love your family love your friends love your neighbor love everyone and also love yourself first and foremost bye guys and i'll see you in my next video i'm really happy and I'm feeling peaceful today. It's a beautiful day. It's a hot day as well, so I'm kind of dying. But yeah, I can't deny that it's beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys my view to say goodbye, okay? This is the view from my room. Just appreciate it. Bye, guys. I love you all.